Welcome, in this video I'll be going over some Season 1 picks from Vivi, but I still think are worth picking up just now. As more people get onto the market, these collectibles are going to be worth more in the future, in my opinion. And let's get right into it. And the ones I'm particularly keen on from Season 1 are the Unicorns, or Unicornals, sorry. And as you can see here, I've written over the common that I picked up recently. So a bit of background, this is from Season 1 of Vivi, and it's obviously Season 1 of the Unicromos as well and it's the first appearance and as you can see here it's a common with 5,500 editions initial 13 gems price I paid just under 40 gems for it and at the moment it's just worth under 44 gems I previously I've done a video where at one point this was at a high of 66 gems so this does as all collectibles do fluctuate over time but I genuinely believe any of the collectibles from season 1 will be worth a lot more than they are currently in the future simply because of that first appearance factor and the fact they're part of season one. There'll never be another season one, there'll never be another first appearance of those characters. So I do believe they are well worth picking up in the future. And just to give you an idea of some of the other ones as part of that collection. Let's see, I'll take a look at maybe perhaps the rare here and see what that's, that's going for just now in the market. So again, originally 19 for Berenia. If we go into the actual market, you're only 68 on the market, so that tells you a lot of people are holding on to it. 144 is the cheapest on the market and jumping to 151 at the current time of this recording and as you can see if we just check the total editions 2500 so yeah obviously not that many editions but only 68 just now in the market so that means potentially 200 and 2470 odd people are holding on to this collectible so at the moment it's sitting at a price of 144 gems but just imagine a year's time from now how much this could be worth or how much people are willing to pay for it who don't own it but want to own it and that's really important to think about here in terms of the longer term is all these collectibles that are part of a unicorn set is just making sure you check out the price keep an eye on the market make use of the auction feature as well to kind of pick up relatively cheap ones potentially and save a few gems that way but this is one of the things i'm, I'm hoping to over the course of next few months have enough gems put aside or without trading and, and flipping to have enough gems to actually hold a complete set of this season one because uh, for that first appearance factor and for uh, being able to say it's part of season one i feel really make a difference for yourself this is not financial advice but do consider what's out there in terms of the secondary market what are some of the sets particularly from season one that you think are ones that you like but also ones you pretend to want to hold on to i start thinking about what moves can you make what swaps trades for friends or buying and selling on the market you could do to acquire those ones because I generally do feel out of out of what's available it's definitely ones to be written out for it. There's so many first appearances and additions that are so beyond most people's means of, of, of buying. For example Todd, Batman, the Todd statue was the first NFT Batman on Vivi and that Todd McFarlane Batman statue is I think the last time I checked 2.5k, so 2,500 gems to pick it up. For most people come onto the app that's going to be impossible to kind of get anytime soon or ever ever at all but something like this is part of a unicorn or any other kind of uh, cryptkins or any, any other kind of first appearance season one sets like that or the back to future ones potentially or ghostbusters are still within reach for now for people but as we get more people on the app and more people realize the, the benefits of having these just now they'll be snapped up they'll be even less available in the market and it, as always when there's less supply in the market the price will never go up as well so do keep that in mind for the future and i just want to do a quick video for new users particularly so they are aware of other things you could be doing on the app it's not all about the latest drops there are some real good drops from months ago that are worth picking up in my opinion i please do hope you find this helpful if you do please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you're interested i'm going to write a free nft comic on vivi if you click this video here or you can check this video out i'm sure you enjoy it thank you and i'll see you next video